There is no doubt that Onana has been an immense disappointment in a United shirt so far, leading to a great number of fans criticizing the club on social media for failing to offer De Gea a new deal. It's actually amazing how people seem to have forgotten how much of a liability De Gea was. Over the course of his 12-year tenure at Old Trafford, the Spaniard became a popular personality, winning the Premier League's Golden Glove Award twice, as well as many in-house Players Player of the Year awards. But as United embarked on a five-year trophy drought between 2017 and 2022, De Gea was guilty of numerous mistakes during that period costing United many valuable matches time and time again by conceding poor goals against opponents. Ten Hag made the proper choice when he brought out a new starting goalkeeper in the summer, with De Gea, who predictably is still looking for a new club today. United would never be able to go to the next level. Onana looked like the ideal replacement, been the final piece in the puzzle for a team eyeing a potential title challenge. But just three months into the Cameroon goalkeeper's United career, he has proven to be every bit as calamitous between the sticks as his predecessor. Here are four facts about Onana that made him not to be an upgrade for United team. 1. Distribution Problem Ten Hag, who had previously worked with Onana at Ajax, chose him as his primary target mostly because of his reputation as an outstanding goalkeeper with the ball at his feet. The United manager desired a goalkeeper who could play the ball well, similar to Ederson and Allison, who both had significant impacts after moving to Manchester City and Liverpool, respectively. Inter certainly benefited from Onana's distribution skills during their surprise run to the Champions League final last season. He was ever-present in the competition and kept a total of eight clean sheets, with his best performance saved for the final against City. Onana could do little to keep out Rodri's winning goal, but he set up a number of dangerous chances and attacks himself, which Inter really should have done better with. The Italian giants may have pulled off a historical shock if Eden Zico and Romelu Lukaku had been more clinical. De Gea, on the other hand, was never at ease with the ball at his feet, therefore Onana was viewed as a significant improvement. The Cameroonian appears to have deteriorated in the area where he is regarded as an expert, though. At United, Onana's pass accuracy is just 76%, which indicates that, on average, he drops the ball one out of every four times. He only completed 246 passes in the Premier League, a number surpassed by five other goalkeepers, and he also seems to be lacking in confident. United might have at least avoided defeat against Galatasaray, had it not been for Onana's terrible pass out in the 76th minute, which fell straight to the feet of Dries Mertens. Casemiro was left with no choice but to take out the Belgian and concede a penalty, and it was no surprise when the referee pulled out a red card. Onana's risk-taking and Hollywood passes are a staple of the modern goalkeeper, but as we are so often told, their priority should always be to keep the ball out of the net. Until the last couple of years of his Old Trafford career, De Gea's reflexes and agility were rated among the very best in the world. 2. Positioning Problem the most obvious weakness in Onana's game has already been recognized and is being vigorously explored by the opposition. The 27-year-old typically remains near his goal line when United isn't in possession of the ball, instead of pushing his defensive line forward. According to the source, players have been instructed to attack Onana as soon as possible in order to catch him off guard. The United goalkeeper is giving them a larger target to aim at instead of reducing the angles by coming out and making himself significant. This was evident during the Red Devils' unconvincing 3-2 win against Nottingham Forest in August. Onana refused to go beyond his six-yard area as Taiwo Awaniyi ran through on goal before going to ground far too easily, which allowed the frontman to execute a simple chip to open the scoring. In the Champions League match between Manchester United and Bayern Munich, where the Red Devils lost 4-3, Onana inexplicably let a feeble Leroy Sane shot to slip by him as he positioned just a yard off his line. For Galatasaray, former United winger Wilfred Zaha took advantage of Onana's hesitation by volleying in a long pass through the center as the goalie drew back. In all, Onana has faced 51 shots this season, giving up two more goals than was anticipated. 
Ten Hag's handling of an unusual injury crisis has left United's defense in disarray overall, but Onana's shortcomings are still unacceptable, and he needs to improve right away. 3. Shot Stopping Let's delve into a crucial aspect of goalkeeping that often goes unnoticed but holds immense significance, shot prevention. It entails a proactive and aggressive approach to thwarting shots before they even materialize. In this realm, we witness a notable disparity between David De Gea and Andre Onana, underscoring the impact of their respective abilities in shot claiming and stopping. Onana's biggest blunders in a United shirt have come in the Champions League so far, notably shipping a tame shot from Sane against Bayern and initiating the catastrophic chain of events with his wayward pass against Galatasaray, resulting in Casemiro seeing red before being beaten easily with a lob when faced one-on-one -on -one with Icardi. Shot prevention is not just about making saves, it's about taking command of the situation and eliminating the threat at its root. This skill not only helps maintain defensive stability, but also opens up thrilling possibilities for swift counterattacks. Last season, Onana only conceded 36 goals in 41 games, keeping eight clean sheets in Inter's 13-match Champions League run. In the competition, he only conceded 10 goals from shots that came with an expected goal tally of 17.8. The 7.8 goals he effectively prevented was the highest total in the competition. Though Onana's start to the season has not been great, the reality is, neither has United's. They have conceded 12 goals after 8 league games, sit mid-table with 12 points. 4. Repeated Mistakes After the Galatasaray game, Ten Hag was asked whether he would consider dropping Onana if it becomes obvious that the defense has lost confidence in United's new number one. He can be one of the best goalkeepers in the world, replied the 53-year-old tactician. We have seen already his great capabilities and also his personality. He will make a mistake and bounce back, and will do so again, I am sure. In his first 16 months in authority at Old Trafford, Ten Hag has established himself as an expert of deflection, frequently supporting his players in the face of severe criticism. In addition, he defended Onana after his expensive blunder against Bayern. Onana's capacity to recover is seriously questioned in light of the fact that he consistently makes the same errors. Ten Hag is doing all in his power to keep him safe, but he also seems to have blind trust that he will one day resume performing at the level of a world-class goalkeeper once more. In reality, United's coaching staff need to work closely with Onana on the training ground to iron out the rough edges in his game. If Ten Hag doesn't push him to up his standards, the former interkeeper will continue to be a major problem. At Old Trafford, the Dutchman has definitely not shied away from making difficult decisions. He facilitated Cristiano Ronaldo exit the club before stripping Harry Maguire of the captaincy and exiling Jadon Sancho from the team for his catastrophic training performance. Taking Onana out of the firing line, even just temporarily, would be another bold move, but it might just be a necessary one. United also signed Alte Bayendir as a backup goalkeeper in the summer, and he's waiting in the wings for his chance to shine. Finally, time is not a luxury afforded to those earning a living at the biggest clubs in the world. If Onana continues to struggle in the coming weeks, there is a real risk of the Red Devils' season falling apart. That was also the case when De Gea was in goal, and Onana has a long way to go to prove that he is not just a like-for-like -like replacement. One of the biggest issues for Onana at the moment is that he's not getting the most out of his biggest strengths as a goalkeeper. The core of his skill set is built on his strength, explosiveness, and plyometric ability, his spring jump particularly in regards to his shot-stopping, and at the moment he's not using that to his advantage. His thought process and actions appear to be clogged. When Onana signed for United, he was presented as a playmaker in gloves, but there's much more to him than that. But things have yet to click for United's new number one. The key difference is not quantity, but quality. De Gea was often punting to relieve pressure, whereas his replacement has the vision, confidence, and ability to pick out teammates further up the pitch in positions where they can exploit gaps in the play. 
Nobody is pretending this is revolutionary, but it is the type of proactive goalkeeping that United have lacked in the past. This risk versus reward dilemma is fundamental to Onana's game. It's no exaggeration to say that Ten Hag is now fighting for his job, and another Onana disaster class would leave him on the brink. His future rests in the shaky hands of a player who has to start backing up his strong words. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notifications bell for more video.